one of the jailbreak tweaks that I used to always use, like the, one of the first tweaks I would always install was Folder Enhancer. This was a tweak that allows you to do some really cool stuff with folders in iOS, such as putting folders within folders and having unlimited apps in a folder before you could do that with iOS 7. Uh, but this tweak has been updated with iOS 7 in mind. Now this is how a folder normally looks on iOS 7. And we're gonna go and show you Folder Enhancer and show you some of the things it can do. It's not as, I guess, groundbreaking as it once used to be because iOS 7 has incorporated a lot of the stuff that Photo Enhancer brought to the table to begin with, but it still does have uh, some cool effects and some cool closing little options there and layout options. First of all, this is what you see when you turn off the open close animation in Photo Enhancer. You can see there's no longer that animation that takes up the time and the photos just open instantly. And the zooming of the wallpaper is now gone as well. You see that uh, the wallpaper normally zooms in when you open a photo, but now you can turn that off. So I have disabled the zooming animation, but I've kept the open close animation there in that example, and that looks good. Now let's talk about close all folders. You can actually close all the folders when you have an app launch. Uh, and this only really works with folders within folders. So let's go ahead and create a folder within a folder now. All right, so we have a folder within a folder. Now, if I hit the home button, notice what happens. It goes back to the initial folder that it was nested inside. But if I turn on the own home button, close all folders option, it will close all folders with one little press of the home button just like that. So you see the difference there? And you can also do the same thing for app launches. Uh, so if we turn on own app launch, it'll close all the folders when I launch an application. And let me show you how it works without that option enabled. So I'm gonna launch reader here, and then I'm going to hit the home button, and then it goes back to that folder. You see that? Now, if I turn on the own app launch, close all folders option, it will close all the folders as soon as I launch the app. See, I'm gonna go back to the home. You see that? All folders are closed just like that. So it's a subtle feature, but it is nice to have. Now I'm gonna turn on the four by four layout here. That does require a respring. Uh, so we're gonna respring here. Now we're back up. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like with the four by four layout. You see, things look a little tighter. Obviously you don't see it in this example because I need to add some apps here. So I'm gonna add some applications to this folder here so you can see exactly what the four by four folders look like. So there we go. Now open that up. Now see how things look a little tighter, uh, not as much padding uh, around the, f the items in the folder. I don't really like the look of four by four, but if you, if you wanna put you know a lot of applications in one folder, then you can do that. Uh, it's not as important as it used to be because now you can put unlimited apps. You can just page through the apps right within iOS 7, no jailbreak required. So that is Folder Enhancer, ladies and gentlemen. It has been updated for iOS 7. And the good news is that you, if you already own Folder Enhancer from the previous jailbreaks, from previous firmware, then Folder Enhancer for iOS 7 is, yep, you guessed it, absolutely free of charge. Big props to the developer for doing that. I mean, he didn't have to do that, uh, but it's absolutely free if you already own Photo Enhancer on past firmware, then you can download it and enjoy it right now on iOS 7 free of charge. You can find it right now on Cydia's Big Boss Repo. Let me know what you think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.